So today we want to start a series by looking at knowing Jesus, the I am statements. But today's topic is not the I am statements yet. Today's topic is who do you say you are? So how do they know him? One of the ways was to listen to him. We need to remember that primarily Jesus' audience was the Jews. The secondary audience are you and I. So the audience he believed and expected that they were familiar with some of the things that happened in the Old Testament. You see, because when you look at all the I am statements of Jesus, you realize that the I am alone, starting from the word I am, it came from that first encounter of God and Moses, whereby God was going to reveal himself to the nation of Israel. He said to Moses, I am that I am. Tell them that I am sent you. So when Jesus was talking to the Jews, he knew that they were familiar with the term I am. So for Jesus to come and say to them, before Abraham was, I am. Hey! Sacrilege. John 8, 48. So in listening to the things that Jesus said, we begin to have a clue as to who Jesus is. So in an effort to know Jesus, and in order to properly relate with him, and also to fully benefit from that relationship as per who he is, we need to pay close attention to the I am statements of Jesus. And in the book of John, we see seven of those I am statements. And each one of those I am's gives us some revelation as to who Jesus is. In John chapter 6, verse 35, he says, I am the bread of life. In John chapter 8, verse 12, he says, I am the light of this world. In John chapter 10, verse 9, he says, I am the door of the sheep. <laughs> In that same John chapter 10, verse 14, he says, I am the good shepherd. In John chapter 11, verse 25, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. In John chapter 14, verse 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And in John chapter 15, verse 1 to verse 5, he says, I am the true man. What was God showing Moses when he said to Moses, I am that I am. I am sent you. And how come Jesus called himself I am? So who was the person that spoke to Moses in that burning bush encounter? Who was the person that spoke to Abraham? So he discovered that in all God's relationship with man, he disclosed himself through Jesus Christ. And that's why of the three of them, it was Jesus that came. To show us. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except by me. So you see, we can never know God if we don't know the one that he disclosed himself to us as. He says, he that has seen me has seen what? The Father. So you want to know the father, what do you do? Know Jesus. You want to relate with the father, do what? Relate with Jesus. You want to know how the father will behave in any situation, check how Jesus behaved in that situation. Because number one, himself and the father are one. Number two, if you have seen him, you have seen the father. I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
in order to properly relate with God, we must know what his names mean. You know, all of God's names are very, very deeply meaningful. And the reason why we are not relating with him as we should is because we have not taken time to study what he was trying to tell us by those names. And you discover that when God meets somebody, the way he introduces himself to that person is different from the way he introduces himself to the next person. When he discloses himself, when he reveals himself. And that was what Jesus was showing us in all the things that he did, particularly the miracles. You see, we can never stereotype God. Hmm? We can never stereotype God. That's why the more you know God, the more you know that you don't even know him yet. That there is so much to know. So, what do we do? Just follow him through his word. Now, as you read the Bible, meditate and pray, God begins to bring some things to your spirit. And as you focus on those things, you realize that he's showing you some things. Amen? Gives you dimensions of himself. God is too deep. Deep calls unto deep. But you must go deep before deep can call unto deep. Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. You see that? What does that tell you immediately? It tells you, first of all, that the whole world is in darkness. So when we copy the world, what are we copying? We are copying darkness. And it, it, you know, it's so sad that in the church today, many of us still look at what they do in the world and we fashion what we want to do after the manner of what they do in the world. Adam didn't go to school. He didn't study botany. He didn't study zoology. But he named every plant. He named every animal. Where did he get that knowledge from? Because he was in the spirit. He was tapping from the knowledge of God. So he was speaking. And that's what Jesus came to restore to us. So the spirit of man in the days of Adam and Eve were directly in touch with the spirit of God. So everything that God knew was just coming to Adam. Spirit to spirit, touch to touch. Amen. Now that we are born again, you get to a level when you are praying, when you are studying, when you are tabashing at night, you get to a point when God is talking to you, it's thought to thought. As, as, as the thing is coming to you, you know the answer. And as you are asking the question in your mind, the answer is coming to you. That was how Adam was. Thought to thought. So he knew everything. And that's what Jesus came to restore to us. What we lost in Adam. Are you with me? So now we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of creativity. We have the mind that can create. But it takes us praying and studying the word. And compassion before revelations come. And when revelations come, we can we don't need to copy anybody. It's inside of us. It's inside of us. It says, I am the light of this world. What does light mean? Light brings revelation. Things that the world has no way of knowing, we will bring it out from the mind of Christ. The mind that is inside of us. Did you hear what I said? Things that the world is looking for. Solutions to the world's challenges. They are inside of us, waiting for us to bring them out. To bring them out. Why? Because we are light. We are light. We are light.